canvas, <laughs> sorry, sponge, palette knife, canvas behind me, new commission, I'm gonna start painting. So I'm just gonna start by mixing black and white together. I'm not gonna over mix it. I'm gonna spray it with water and flow improver. And I'm also gonna spray the canvas now with the same stuff. Just a little spray there. And now here, I'm gonna get really nice coverage, okay? And I'm gonna cover this basically, but I still want some of this gray to show through. This is just the background color that, as I said, will show through a bit later on. There we are, all finished. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for this to dry um, because I wanna work on the main colors to go on top of this. Uh, so for now, I'm gonna go make a cup of tea and I will be back with you shortly. Okay, so now the gray paint layer is dry and I've mixed up a batch of colors, which I'm gonna use with my sponges. And I've also just sprayed the canvas to add some extra flow. So <laughs> let's, See what happens. So now I've gone as far as I can with the sponges. Um, so I'm just gonna use my palette knife now just to pick up the rest of the paints. And I wanna darken some areas as well and the, um, on the canvas. And I just want to blend some areas with the knife. Not all of the areas, but just certain parts where I think need to be blended. I'm not adding much texture at the moment. Just a few spots here and there. great because now that the paint is still wet um, it's always nice because you can get some really um, nice effects you can either blend the paints together or work on this wet on wet technique and, and it sort of creates that amazing like grunge like effect um, which I keep talking which I keep going on about um, but it's it's beautiful I love it and there's a lot of work to go on this yet so um, let's get on with it Here I've got uh, burnt umber and a touch of bright red and this is all still wet okay but I want to show you some techniques that you can make with the wet paints which is for me it's beautiful I mean this is all really wet and you've got to be very careful with this because you don't want to push down so much um, it's all about pressure here I mean you can do a little bit in in other areas in certain areas but if you want the paint to sit on top of the wet paint you need to load it up like this and just apply it very gently okay and you can get some amazing abstract textured effects So again, with this piece, um, I'm going for something a bit softer and sweeter. It doesn't look like that at the moment. Um, I'm gonna put a link somewhere, I think here, from the, my last video, commission number one, 
and this is commission number two. So I'm going to try and make it a bit similar and um, not go overboard with it. Right now I'm just going to feather and blend out some areas so it's not too uh, Sean-like. <laughs> Now I've decided to come back to my sponge just for some extra thick coverage. And I want more paint this time than I previously did um, on the first layer or the second layer. Okay, so we've got a lot of coverage now on the canvas with lots of thick paints. And I'm just going to blend some certain areas, some small areas, not all of it, because I want these strong uh, strokes from the sponge to really stand out. Then I'm going to wait for that to dry and I'm going to jump in with the palette knife. interesting shapes here and I've mixed up a new color palette. I'm just gonna now slow down and really work the knife into certain areas. So let's have a little play. With the tissue I can just dab it really lightly on to certain parts of uh, the canvas. So I'd go for a dark to go over a light part just for some, I don't know, weirdness, added interest, who knows. But not too much, I don't want to go too far with this. Just a few spots here and there. And I think we'll call it a day there. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed painting this. Please look out for part two of this project. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do so and hit that little bell. And I will see you very soon. Take care for now, everyone. Bye-bye.